Same thing. <laughs> Alright, making a quick video. I'm here on my lunch break from the radio and I'm at Walmart right now. You've probably seen the title already that I'm going to be switching my carrier. I'm about to buy the whole set for my phone, so let's go. Alright, walking in and this is the place where you pretty much will see someone you know every day. So we'll see if I know somebody when I walk into Walmart. <laughs> It's a beautiful day today though, definitely. One way to avoid traffic is to go through the middle of the store. <laughs> All right, we're here. What you gonna get? What you gonna get? I think this is the one right here. Bring your own phone. I'm gonna get that. Total something else. One, a bunch of them. All right, I am back here at the office and we're gonna get things going. It's gonna be like an unboxing. So not even a box, but I'm opening up this package that I got here. So I'll let you go look at it right now. So here is the package that it comes with. Bring your phone activation kit. 4G LTE, $55, no contract, unlimited talk, text, and data. While being 10 gigabytes of being fast, hopefully I'm going to be using this with my iPhone 6s Plus. So now let's open this thing. All right, so I pretty much opened the back part. And let's see what's in here. Let's get everything out of this package. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Well, comes with these three things right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look inside. Let's do this. So there's different SIM cards for different carriers, which is blue, AT&T. And oh, oh, that's pretty cool. It actually comes. I was actually, dude, <laughs> I was actually looking for this inside of the iPhone box. Because I remember the 3GS back in the day used to come with these, but then they don't anymore. And I looked at all my three boxes of iPhones. And I was like, damn it. So what am I going to use now? So thankfully, they come with this thing right here, this apparatus. And it comes with all of these. And seems like easy to use. So let's get these things going. All right, let's get started. Got my iPhone right here. I need to take out the case. And now you have to find that little spot. You find that little spot right there. Pick the compatible SIM card first. And then now we have to see how big this thing is by using the little that thingy. Take that, pop open that button. There, see it. Take that out. Ooh, tiny. So now it says no SIM card. So it's gonna tell you that, no SIM card installed. What I'm gonna do is take out the little chip in there. Well, I gotta take that out. I have to take this out right here. So match it, put it together. Dang. Remember when the things used to be super huge back in the day? So now I'll put this back with the gold part facing down. Put it back in, stick it through. So from there, I have to log on to stbyop.com. Let's try that. I'm using my, I'm using the Wi-Fi here. And then it goes to this website right here, stbyop. See, as you can see, there says no service up there. While I do this, I am going to activate my phone. All right, I put in everything, all of the cards, all the SIM, and all of the account information from the previous carrier with at and and now I just put this in, the pin number on this, and I have to create an account. It's pretty cool. I hope this will work. It's been working so far. Hopefully this will save a lot of money too, instead of paying $100 just for you know phone month bill. Submit. Let's do this. Does it work? I hope so. All right, setup is now complete. Everything's all put in, and now it says to wait. I guess. Well, it says the transfer process is in progress and may take from a few minutes to a few hours to complete. In some cases, it could take as long as two business days. Hopefully, it doesn't. But during this time, your current phone will still work. And there's a step, like a four step process of when it stops, you do this. So now I guess we're just gonna wait. I'm gonna update you in the next clip. Most likely, it'll be working, hopefully. But for me, I will be waiting. <laughs> All right, so I put back my old AT&T SIM card and now it says no service. So I think, as it said, when it stops working, I'm gonna do the whole step-by-step -step system right here. So hopefully it will work. Bring it back in, right there. All right, so now I'm gonna follow the steps. After your current phone stops working, insert the SIM into your new phone. Turn your phone off and back on and then 
Once I turn it on and turn it off, so I just turned it off. Now I'm going to turn it back on. Turn it on. There. Okay, see if this thing is pretty worth it. If you've been planning on switching carriers or going to straight talk, I will let you know how this is. Oh, it says TFW right there. FW. That means it is now on the straight talk line and I will be making a call to test it out. I'm gonna call my sister. Let's try this. Ah! <laughs> Darn it. One more time. Oh, oh, no. Oh. She's also gonna be switching to straight talk too, so I'm gonna be the first one to switch it and see if it works. There you go, it works. Cool. Three hours before it? No, it actually took like three minutes. Really? That's yeah. Good. So that's good. Did you think the one or? No, I just followed the three step directions and. Oh, yeah, so it worked right away? Mm -hmm. Did you think the monthly one or three months? No, I'll be paying monthly. Thanks. That's good, then. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> all right and there you have it it works straight talk wireless is working so far today it only takes about well with me filming it took a little while but it only takes about five to ten minutes or so to get the thing started thankfully rebooting process the transferring of numbers the same number to the straight talk it took only like two three minutes it works and I'll be paying less for month to month and let's hope I don't use all the data <laughs> really quickly so now I just have to use it smartly and wisely and there you go straight talk <laughs> thank you thanks for watching take care and have a good one